when I found out, first found out the doctor um, was telling me about uh, my kidney was going lower and lower, you know, it was steady going lower. And uh, if it get too low, I was going to have to go on the machine. And and I was asking them why should my kidney be low? What was it, What did I do to cause my kidney to get low? Yeah. And he was trying to explain to me it's the things that you do, what you eat, and you was drinking and this and that, you know, and uh, that caused your kidneys to go bad. Huh. And uh, so I asked him, how can I get my kidneys back? Up to, to, to redeem themselves, you know. <laughs> and he said you can't. So that's where um, dialogy come in at to do what the kidneys are unable to do, uh, you know. Right. So um, so he said that my only out that I got to go on the machine or go into the hospital three times a week for six hours. Yeah. So I had to make a choice which one I wanted to try to go with. So I right. choose the one. I asked a few questions around the nurses and stuff, like <laughs> Kim, you know, and I had another nurse too. From Lynn, Kim, Nicole. Yeah. yeah. Lynn, what's the first one? Lynn is it the, your lady Lynn, to be there. Nicole was your Nicole, original Nicole nurse was with Monogram. And Kim's yeah. your social worker with Monogram. And they sort of like uh, explained to me you know, that it was going to be all right. But I was still, like, skeptical of um, getting this thing because um, I didn't know it was going to explode in my stomach or not and <laughs> kill me, or, you know, make it worse. And I would be here, you know. So um, they finally talked to me and kept speaking to me about it and letting me know it was going to be all right, you know. But um, uh, I got the bucket there because I don't have any um, drain bags now. Mm -hmm. the, the shipment was so common, and so I had to use the bucket with the, um, for the drain and the machine right there. Wow. I hooked it up and I keep my cassettes over here in this box here. Okay. Oh wow! That I use. That's and amazing. Look at there. And these, I've got my um, dresser there as a working table. <laughs> as my um, supplies here. And my, my wife sometimes um, is a little slow by doing things right now <laughs> because she kind of was sick, sick a little bit. But she, thank God, I'm praying and praying and praying for her. So. So let the Lord bring her up. She was able to go to church with me, son. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, she sponsored me in church, son. And well, I would imagine that because she's not, she's sickly, uh, it's it's important for you to be as healthy as possible. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I have to stay up to keep, keep you know, I have to keep myself up and look out for my wife, too. Yeah. You know, care of her, too. Because um, most times, our son there, he... He goes to work, he be gone all the time. And and his daughter, she gone to work. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm so not the, one the responsibility you have requires you to be healthy. Exactly. Wow. You know, I've got to and I've available. Got to keep myself yeah. and available. <laughs> yeah. Keep myself on um, kinda like independent though. Yeah. I get that. For that. Right. You know, for these things. Well, what is one thing you're looking forward to this year? This year? Mm -hmm. uh, to continually be as I am and to be stronger and continue to take my um, procedures at night where I could um, continue to be able to do the things that I want to do during the daytime. Yeah. And because the night belongs to the machine. Right. And the daytime belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you said that. <laughs> I do too. That's yeah. Really. yeah.